Hi, I'm Amy Castles. Welcome to today's yoga session. Today I'm talking a little bit about fear. I don't have a, I don't have, this is all my own words, okay? Um, and some from service that I got on Sunday. We were talking about fear and we were talking about fear through the storms. And I realized that I was even having fear myself based on other people's fear. So I was actually being fearful of other people's fear. I was pointing the finger at other people and the things that they were fearful of and calling it ridiculous. And then I was being fearful of their fear. <laughs> I was no different. And it really hit me hard and I realized, wow, I've, I've picked up that same spirit of fear. And that's exactly what the enemy wants. He wants us to be fearful. He wants us to be just afraid and asleep. And at church we talked about, um, well, he said Psalms 46. He said, God is a refuge and strength. Therefore, we will not fear. Do we believe that Jesus has the power to rebuke the storms? If so, then why do we believe he does not have the power to rebuke the storms in our lives right now? There's always going to be storms in our lives, but do we believe that Jesus has the ability to rebuke those storms? So why do we fear? It's interesting, the disciples slept, or the disciples slept during the time where Jesus was weeping in the Garden of Gethsemane. They were, they were asleep during a time where they should have been weeping. And Jesus was asleep during a time when the disciples were weeping. It's interesting how we can go the opposite direction. We're asleep during the times where we should be weeping, and we're fearful during the time where Jesus is saying, I've got this. And that's, you know, that's our human flesh. It is, it is what it is. But um, we just have to keep reminding ourselves of, of verses like Psalms 46. God is a refuge and strength. Therefore, we will not fear. Today, I have an oil called Awaken. Awaken is a wonderful oil. It actually has 26 different oils in here. Devana, there's rose, there's Melissa, there's frankincense. 26 oils, a lineup that's huge. So I invite you to take your essential oils. And if you don't have Awaken, that's okay. Use any oil that you have and just place the drop right over the palm. This oil's a little thick, so it's not coming out very well. And just go ahead and circle your palms together. And we're just gonna awaken our senses and invite you to cup your hands over your nose and just breathe. And breathe in that oil, awaken. And give your mom yourself a moment to just pray and just be with him. Just be with the spirit. God, what is he? What do you want to show me today, Lord? Lord, I need to hear from you. What do you need to show me? Is there something you want to lay on my heart? Have I been in fear, Lord? God, I want to give you my fear. Lord, I give you my fear and I receive your peace, your love, your faithfulness, your goodness. I receive your love.
place your palms by your sides or on your knees. And let's just start with some neck rolls. Just circle the chin down and around, nice and easy. direction. Come to the center. Lower your right shoulder. Lower your right ear to your right shoulder. shoulder to the left ear. And drop your chin to your chest. And now from right here, just begin to rock your spine back, giving a stretch and then lift forward. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, pull back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, scoop back. Come back to the center. And add a little spinal twist. the center and twist to the other side. Come back to the middle. Take your left leg, bring your left leg out to the side. Hold it nice and long. When you're ready, you can push up on your right hand to lift up into a gates pose. So your right knee is down, left leg out, left arm up and over. Feel the nice long stretch through the side. to the other side, left leg comes in, right leg out, press onto the left hand, lift up and over into your gates pose. Come to the center. Come to your palms and onto all fours. Go onto your toes and then sit back so that you feel that little stretch in your toes. And just kind of work, work it back and forth. I know it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. That's the whole point. When you're ready, lift up, slightly lean back, and reach up with your left arm. Left arm up, right hand can come to your low back, or you can bring it down to your heel of your foot if you're ready. Lift up. back to the center 
and switch to the other side. So bring your left hand either to the low back or to your foot and reach the right arm up. back to the center and sit back again once more onto your toes. Feel the release of your toes and the stretching through the bottoms of the feet. If you can't go back that far, that's okay. Just kind of maybe press your hands forward and slowly get to that point. When you're ready, release and come to seated on all on your knees. Lift up nice and tall and take your left arm and reach it up and over. That beautiful sound. And release and take the right arm up and over. Not only is this stretching through the sides, but it's also stretching the knees. Continue to breathe. And come back to the center. When you're ready, come up to standing position. Bend your knees and inhale, reach the arms up overhead so that your armpits are hollowed out and your biceps are right by the ears. Reach nice and long, hold here, inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms down and come into forward fold. Inhale, shift your weight over to your right foot. Lift the left leg, exhale, step all the way to the back of your mat. Lower the hips, lift the chest, pull the shoulder blades back. Lower that back knee just a little bit more, but keeping that back leg nice and straight. Hold it here nice and strong. Inhale, exhale, lower the back knee and lift the right arm. Spinal twist. Continue to breathe, lower the right arm behind you, behind the low back. Inhale and exhale and twist just a little bit more. Coming out of it just the way you came. Inhale, lift the arm. Exhale, lower. Pick up the back knee and press back into a down dog. Spread the fingertips on your mat. Press the heels to the floor. Hollow out the armpits. Pull the shoulder blades down your back and widen and broaden your back. Inhale and exhale, come a little lower. Inhale, come forward to a plank. Option is to lower the knees down and exhale, slowly lower. Bend the elbows and shoulder roll. Gently lift up to plank. Exhale, push back into a down dog. Toes under, down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg. Just a little bit. And exhale, step it forward to your lunge. Inhale, step forward, forward fold. Walk the knees back right and left, right and left. Bend the knees, come into a chair pose. 
and just breathe. Lift all the way up to standing. Place the palms together. Lift up and then come over to your left side. Your breath is the powerhouse here. Your breath is what brings you through all the poses, brings you through all the exercises. Come back to the center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come into chair again. Long through the arms. Let's see them nice and strong. Biceps right by the ears. Fingertips spread. Lift and reach long. Exhale, come forward into a forward fold. Shift your way over to your left foot. Pick up the right foot. Exhale, step all the way to the back of your mat. Lower the hips. Lift the chest. Pull the shoulder blades back. Lower the back knee just a little bit more. Make sure you're keeping your back leg nice and straight. Lower the back knee down. Inhale and lift up the left arm. Inhale and exhale, lower that back arm behind you. Release it to your low back. Keep opening your chest, feel the spinal twist. into a down dog. Press into your down dog. Spread the fingertips nice and long. Strong through the forearms. Hollow out the armpits. Broaden the upper back. Pull the shoulder blades down. Inhale, exhale. And hip the tailbone towards the ceiling. Lower the back. Heels. Inhale and exhale, come forward to a plank. Option, lower the knees. Inhale and exhale, bend the elbows, slowly lower. Shoulder roll, or you can press all the way up. Lift the chin. Shoulder blades down. Tuck the toes under, lift up to a plank, press back down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg and exhale, draw it all the way forward. Make sure your ankle is right underneath the knee. Step forward into a forward fold. Walk the knees back right and left, right and left. Feel that stretch through the back of the legs. Bend your knees, come back into your chair pose. Inhale and exhale, pull the shoulder blades down. Bend your knees and exhale, swan dive down into a forward fold. Take the hands to the shins and flatten the back. Feel the strength building in your low back as you lengthen. Exhale, come forward. Pick up the right foot this time and lift up and step all the way to the back of your mat. Lower the hips and lift the chest. Pull the shoulder blades back. Inhale and exhale. Are you ready? Press back into a down dog. Now from here, you can stay right here in your down dog or you can lift your right arm and cross it back and reach behind the left knee. Really working the strength in the left side as you can feel. Try to keep your hips level. Release the hand back. Inhale, pick up the right leg. Exhale, draw the knee all the way through the middle into a pigeon. 
lower the back knee, lower the toes. And from here, we're gonna come down onto the elbows, nice and easy. Now you want to have your groin as close to the ground as possible, and you wanna have your front foot as far forward as possible. Easier said than done, right? Lower down, come to the elbows. And as an option, we're going to lift up onto your left elbow, place the palms together. So your right arm is lifted. Twist and open. center. Place the palms onto the floor. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower. Let's do a few moving pigeon pose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and hold this one. Bend your left heel back. Feel the stretch through your quadricep. If you like, you can stay right here, or you can pull your heel in a little bit more, lift up a little bit more, and reach back with your left arm. Now, if this is too much for you, what you can do is you can set down. You can set down right here. Open up your chest and breathe. the hands to the floor, lift up into almost a lunge and press back into a down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg and exhale to roll it right through the middle. Lower the knee and remember, get your foot as far forward as you can. If it won't go forward, that's okay. Just pull it in. Inhale, lift. And exhale, slowly lower onto your elbows. And as an option, come onto the right elbow and press the left hand on top and open up through the chest. back to the center, place the hands on the floor, inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, slowly lower, inhale, lift, and exhale, slowly lower, inhale, lift, and exhale, slowly lower. Come back up and hold this one. Pull your heel into the groin just a little bit more. Lift up nice and tall and draw the back heel in. Now you can stay right here or you can reach back with your right arm and grab your right foot. If this is too much, you can just sit down onto your side and you can still feel that quadricep stretch, the hip flexor stretch. and challenging of the of your balance that's for sure
lower your back foot, place your palms onto your mat, lift up into the lunge and press back into your down dog. Inhale, come forward to a plank, nice and easy. Shoulders right over your, uh, your wrists and option lower the knees, elbows in slowly lower. Always take it at your level, shoulder roll or press into an up dog. toes under press back down dog and gently walk your feet forward into your forward fold walk the knees back right and left right and left place the palms on your shin and lift your chest flatten the back feel the stretch through the backs of the legs so we're really trying to lengthen our spine out and working to strengthen the low back while stretching the back of the legs bend your knees and gently rise up release shoulder roll down take your feet nice and wide on your mat so feet nice and wide your heels are in alignment lift your toes and turn them over to your right bend your right knee so you're in a warrior two so in a warrior two your left leg is straight so if, if I were to turn like this the left leg is nice and straight while the right leg is bent I can stay right here for a better angle and you're gonna lower down just a little bit more and then extend the arms into your warrior two Reach nice and long, inhale and exhale and breathe. Really lift out of the waistline. Pull the shoulder blades down and back. Feel the strength going out through your fingertips. I like to think of being a warrior in God's army. Right here on this temporary place called Earth. Inhale and lift the right arm. Lower down just a little bit more. And exhale, bring the right elbow to the right knee and lift the left arm. As an option, you can take your top arm and bring it back behind you and open the chest. Lower just a little bit more. Feel the strength building in the standing leg. Come back up through the middle. Straighten out the right leg. Take a small step in with your back foot. So now your right leg is straight and your left leg is straight. Lower down just a little bit. If you have a block, you can hold onto your block just right outside behind your leg, or you can reach at your shins. Blocks definitely make it nicer, but they're not 100% necessary. Reach that arm up into triangle. pose for just a few breaths lift up reach the arms together turn the toes out inhale exhale draw the elbows in inhale exhale lift inhale pull the elbows in and exhale lift inhale pull the elbows in exhale lift just a few more Hold this one down. Right elbow to your right bench, or to your right thigh. Left arm up. Hold right here. A 
And if you want, you can wrap that arm around. Lift up. Open the chest. Spinal twist while also challenging your balance and your strength through the legs. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands to the center. Now lift your toes and twist your toes over to your left. So now we're in a warrior two on the left side. Lower the left knee down, bend the left knee. Open up your left knee so you can see the whole inside of your left foot. Straighten out the right leg. Everything is solid from the ground all the way through the legs. Pull the abs in, lift tall through the chest and open the arms. Solid in the boots of salvation. Lower down just a little bit more. Challenge yourself. When it starts to get hard, I like to tell myself I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Pull the shoulder blades back just a little bit more. Inhale, open up the left palm and lift it straight up. Feel the stretch through the front of the body. Lower down just a little bit more. Reach back. Reverse warrior. Stay in the poses just long enough to adapt to them. That's how we continue to breathe. Exhale, bring the left elbow down. Reach the right arm up. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale and exhale. Option, bring that right arm behind you. Open the chest. Now the leg is really strengthening. Do you feel that? Just breathe. Lift up. Draw your left foot, or let's bring your right foot in just a little bit, and then left foot. So now you're strengthening the legs, or straightening the legs. Left leg is point, left toes are pointing out. Right toes are angled in. Straighten through the legs. Lift up nice and tall. Press your hips over to your right and come down into your triangle pose. Reach the right arm up. Be careful not to lock this knee. We don't want to press against it. We really want to keep it somewhat bent, but enough for everything to be strengthened. So your hand is at your shin. Lift up, turn both of the palms out, or both of the feet out. Inhale, and this time we're gonna exhale, bend the knees, and we're gonna sweep down to the floor and cross the arms in the front. So it looks like this, inhale, cross. Exhale, open. Inhale, cross down. Exhale, open. Inhale, cross down. Exhale, Inhale, cross down. Exhale, open. One more time, inhale, cross down. Exhale, open and bend your knees. Bring the left elbow to the left thigh. Reach the right arm up. Keep both knees bent. Come back to the center. Open up your heels so that everything is straightened now, so the feet are straight forward, and come down into a forward fold. Option is to go nice and wide, 
and come down to your elbows. Lift back up, come to your hands. Exhale, draw the feet in. Come back to the knees and come back to seated. Just like in the beginning, lift onto your toes. So now your toes are curled under. Place the palms onto the floor and lift up. Now, do you feel the stretch? in your calves. You should feel it in your calves quite a bit. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world. When you're ready, find your balance right here. If you can lift up your hands, lift up the hands, palms together. Exhale. Take the hands to the floor. Spread the fingertips onto the floor and just rock yourself forward and then back. Forward and then back. Don't be afraid to put some weight onto your arms. You can feel the strength building in your chest and through the arms. forward hold this one forward hold it strong you should feel the weight through the upper body and exhale and slowly release so coming into a seated position lift tall through your chest just like in the beginning round back inhale lift Exhale, round back. Back to the center. And extend out the right leg. Right leg out, left leg in. Reach up with your left arm, up and over. Open your chest just a little bit more. If you can reach all the way towards that foot, that foot go ahead and reach towards your foot. Otherwise, hold it nice and gentle while still feeling a stretch to the side. Inhale and exhale, turn the chest, reach for your foot. Feel the lengthening through your back. a boat creeping by behind me. Lift up nice and strong. Turn to the other side. Extend the left leg out, right foot in. Reach up and over. Open through the chest. up and open just a little bit more. A 
and turn towards your foot. Lengthen through your stretch. Really reach the right arm forward. Come back to the center. Lift up. Lengthen the legs out onto your mat. Draw your toes towards you. Lift up tall. And then gently walk the hands forward. Now, if you have a strap, you can reach your hands at your strap and hold onto your strap. Otherwise, you can just reach for the toes. If you need to bend your knees, go ahead and bend your knees. You want to feel the stretch through the back of the legs. That looks different for everybody. Inhale and exhale. Release. Lift up nice and tall. And then scoot your seat forward. And then lower back onto your back. Let your back just drape across the floor. Feel the lengthening through your spine. Wiggle yourself into a nice, comfortable position and just roll your knees around. Go opposite direction. into the middle. And lengthen the legs out. Place your hands on your belly and feel the rise and fall. As you find your own natural rhythm, release your arms by your sides. Inhale and exhale. Take this time to just listen for his voice.
When you're ready, begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Circle your wrists and circle your ankles. Draw one knee and then the other into your chest. And rock your knees side to side, giving your low back a massage. Lower your knees to your right side. And place the hands on the floor and press up to seated. And when you come to seated, sit nice and tall. Keep your eyes closed. Ask yourself, are you fearing? What are you fearing? Can you give it to the Lord? Do you receive his promises? Do you believe that he has the ability to walk on water? To stop a storm? To heal the sick? To heal the blind and the deaf? He is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. So if you believe these things, believe them to be true for you too. In the storm that you're in. And open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today for yoga. I hope that you enjoyed it and you have a wonderful day. Drink lots of water. Thanks so much. Bye.